I must warn you all that today's show may steam up your picture tube a little bit. We have got daytime TV's sexiest couples. Watch them in action, and I do mean action. That last guy delivers one hell of a singing telegram. <clears throat> this is just another day at the office for my guests. The sexiest couples on the soaps, starting with Eric Forrester and Sheila Carter of The Bold and the Beautiful, better known as John McCook and Kimberlyn Brown. <laughs> People who don't believe in letting a stupid thing like a little nightgown get in the way of a good time. General Hospitals, Jagger Cates and Brenda Barrett, Antonio Sabato Jr. and Vanessa Marcel. <laughs> Painting, they're swooning. Are you all right? Are you okay? Are you sweet? Are you gonna be okay? <laughs> okay. Just wanted to double check. You know, since this, you guys are here because you're like the sexiest couples on daytime. Uh, <laughs> Could you just give me what is the sexiest moment you've ever had on the screen? Mm. Uh, for me, actually, I was. Antonio, do you remember the, your sexiest moment? Probably the, the the scene you just seen right now. What do you think? Yeah. I think so. The, what the scene we're seeing the, right the, now? The scene that you just watched right now. The oh, beginning. the one that we just yeah, saw. Yeah, we're, we're rolling all over the bed and we end up on the floor and we do all kinds of stuff. <laughs> We've you probably got part, more sexy stuff to come yeah, you later. Yeah, the rolling on. off the bed part. All right, let's take a look at uh, let's take a look at a clip from the Bold and the Beautiful. Well, Antonio, the little babies of the group here, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah. How long We're have you guys been? How long have you been acting? Uh, I've been acting about five years. Vanessa, how about you? I've been acting about eight years. So is this like the enough. first really, and how long have we been doing this together? About five months. Five months, yeah. Yeah? We'll take a, a look at you guys in action from General Hospital. I can get really get used to this. Yeah. Central Bay has that effect on people. Sand and water. You're the one that makes it special. I am. I love the way you think. What about the rest of me? over this stuff. We're, we're new to yeah, it, so. We're new. See, these so you, people have you more enjoy watching your turns. <laughs> do you yeah. enjoy watching yourself? We learn. I, I learn. I like to watch it uh, work. Well, you must be learning pretty good. You've got two Soap op Opera Digest Award nominations. Yeah. Is that Nate correct? Yeah. <laughs> How are you in, uh, what two categories are you in, Antonio? Uh, best Newcomer and oh. Hottest Male Star. How do you feel about that? Oh, I'm not Being used... a sex symbol. <laughs> that question I hate. Uh, I don't Is that know. the question you hate? Do I just, you? I don't know what to say. I, it's just, I'm very flattered. And I don't see it that way, you know. That's a good answer. Yeah, I just... <laughs> <laughs> no. Do you see it that way, Vanessa? Him? Yeah. 
No, actually I don't. Antonio is very sweet and very down to earth. And um, he's, really, he's really a wonderful person. And when someone is as beautiful as him, yeah. usually it's true, you know. Um, usually they have some kind of little attitude that goes along with it. And I really don't think he sees himself as a sex symbol. I don't see him as a, as a sex symbol. I think he's beautiful. But um, yeah. I work with him all the time. We're such good friends. You know, and women die of him, and I go, oh, it's just Antonio. Come on, get over him. <laughs> get over him. Get now, over you're, are you, you're in love with another woman? Yeah, uh, my character, Jagger, he's in love with another girl, Karen. And he's but you're sleeping with Brenda. Sleeping with Brenda. I'm working on him, though. Yeah, it might change. Who knows? Maybe now, what's on. the deal that you're, you're, you mean you just... It's like a triangle. It's like we're playing games with each other. I want this But other... this is physically, a, it's just a sexual thing here. Yeah, we have a good time. I think she's, you know, she's attractive, she's great, but I love this other girl. And uh, I'm just playing a game, trying to find out how this other girl feels about me. And I know she loves me, but she can't say it. And what's going to happen in the storyline? You don't? Uh, he's going to leave town for a while, and she's oh. going to chase him down. I won't let him get away. Don't worry. <laughs> Don't worry, girls. Not yet. Now, are you, 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 go are you a bad character? No. Is Brenda a bad character, Vanessa? Uh, yes. She's a bad girl? Yes, she's a bad girl. She's a troublemaker. Um, she's sweet at heart, but she puts up a lot of uh, walls because she, she's afraid and she's scared. And she's 17, you know, so she's not exactly sure what she wants, but she knows she wants Jagger. That's all she knows she wants. Probably because she knows she can't have him, right? Well, yeah, but I think that Brenda's used to getting what she wants all the time. Yeah, you're a little rich girl, right? Yeah, I'm a little rich girl. I got everything I wanted while I was growing up. And uh, I think that I really, I really do care about Jagger. Even though I'm used to getting what I want, and it is a challenge that he doesn't completely want me, I have that soft spot for him that I've never had with anyone. Who else has a quick question here before we have to take a break? Yeah, stand up. I'm this director to Crystal. I love your acting. Two stars of daytime, and there's a, 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 a fellow in the audience from Australia who has a, a delightful question that I'm sure you'll all enjoy. Stand up. Stand up. Yeah, you stand up. Do you do anything else except for lick, suck, grope, and <laughs> kiss, and all of those things on the show? Is there some other point to the show? Don't you? Okay? <laughs> well, I'm not on the show, I'm so like I'm not really sure. You would like to know if there's some other point to the show? Yeah. 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 Okay, it's real real life. Life. Yeah. Is, there, is, is there anything meaningful, something to do with... <laughs> yeah, sure. Uh, thank you. There are jo how many, how many oh, doctors there, do we there have There really here? are some meaningful I think there's some doctors here. here. No, no, the, reality, I mean, the, the, the reality answer to that is yes, of course we do. I mean, if you're going to show, you know, the, the, uh, the sexuality of what we do, it's a very small part of what we do. And the reality of what we do are very long uh, arced stories. We, we, we examine characterization very deeply. I mean, these, the writers are everything on our shows. Yeah. They really are. Yeah, they I mean, are. We, we are blessed with wonderful writers and wonderful stories and great characters to play. And the sexuality of these characters is just the fun part, you know. It's, it's a but small these are. Part. Well, small if part. I might say so, I think it's the completion of a circle for you guys. Right. And I think the fans are sort of living proof of that. I mean, yeah. they fall in love with you guys as real people and and they they want to see everything and they want to see yeah. their days of our lives though we're just pure sex <laughs> <laughs> so tell everyone i'll show you we're just pure sex lick sick <laughs> the, whole, the whole the whole nine thank you, you, know, you know, I, like to say that I think it's really important um and with our start with our storyline we play teenagers and not only do Soaps have a lot of sex scenes and stuff, but our show, I'm not sure if any of the other shows have Talks done it. Talk about safe sex. But we had a condom scene on our show, which I thought was really great, especially since we're playing teenagers. And so even though there is a lot of sex on soaps, we are looking at it um, from a responsible viewpoint and saying everyone loves to have sex and it's great, but... You know, this is the serious part of it, too. The response. So I don't think it's all fluff, you know. <laughs> Yes. Are you guys anything like the characters you guys portray on the soap operas? Is anybody no. like their no. characters? No. No. Nothing like? I think I am, probably. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody else will hone up. I'll just say yeah. You think you are? I'm exactly like my character. I see. We're back with our hot soap couple. Who, now, who practices their kisses? Which one of you? Well... 
on all of us. Everybody's pointing at you, Crystal. Huh? You. Well, that's because... Well, no. I was wondering, does abstinence ever come into the storyline? Oh, for heaven. <laughs> what kind of well, a question is that for a show like this? It's a valid like question yeah. for all of these it high is. school teenagers well, with all of these bigger. sexually transmitted diseases around. Yep, you're right, you're yeah. right. Is there any abstinence Complete going on? Come on, kids. Is there any abstinence going well, on Well, there is on our show. There's a, there's a lot of young people on our show, and actually the girl that he is in love with uh, is abstinent. So, I mean, you know, there there is. In the young, in our scene, I think because we play young people, so they're in, all the young people aren't having sex on our show, you know, just me. Just so. <laughs> She's, see, the deal, I'm bad. the deal is, is that Brenda's a 17-year-old tramp, basically. I'm the tramp, yeah. <laughs> so, but see, I beg yeah. to differ with this, because I'm not a tramp, I only have sex with Jagger. That's right, only me. <laughs> A lot. A lot. But you only know, with him. So I huh? find that the sex yeah. on our show Yeah, and you are. You just, that's right. You, you're still oh, 17. It's just a question. Hi. Everybody that has a nomination, much good luck at the Soap Opera Digest Awards. Thank and you. I want to thank a couple of our stations quickly before we go. WTVO and Ron. We love you. Bye. <laughs>